tap, up, fall, down, tap, up, fall, down, tap, up. So with taps, I'm going to allow my foot to be completely relaxed, and just like a tap on my snare drum right here, it's just staying above the head. It's a non-vertical stroke. Well, look, I'm just using my toes, and I have a sustained throw mechanic from this distance, and it's consistent. So oftentimes when people play jazz, one thing that they struggle with is they're like, okay, the bass drum has to be the softest thing. Okay, that seems easy. It, it's not. It takes a little bit of skill. Okay, so this begins the discussion of doubles. So just like a double stroke roll, down tap. Well look, down tap. So between the snare drum and the bass drum, I can have two homogenous notes, just like stick control, instead of, you know, a double like, no, where I have control of the second note. So now, down tap. Singles between the snare and the bass drum is just a throw here and a throw here. You notice that the heights are always the same. to a little bit more contemporary uh, drumming. You're seeing it's the same methodology. That's how I approach my bass drum. Thank you.